it's summer and you're trying to get your hot boy or hot girl summer on by looking absolutely shredded or fit. You're in the gym, you're lifting weights, and you're getting your cardio in. Your discipline is on point, but for some reason, you're not as happy. You see your friends spending time outside in the sun while you're in the gym working out and going home and then eating your chicken and broccoli. Looking to find a more fun way to burn calories while being outside besides the usual running or hiking or playing a sport? Well then, you may want to consider riding a motorcycle. What? Yes, you heard that right, folks. What is going on, y'all? This is SK13. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a question that many motorcycle enthusiasts have pondered. Can you burn calories while riding a motorcycle? And if so, how much do you burn? So let's find out. If you search on Google, you'll find a bunch of articles that give you a number range of calories that are burned while riding a motorcycle, but none of them cite any sort of credible sources. In fact, the articles either had no citations or were citing other blog type articles, aka each other. I searched the interwebs and PubMed for any studies or researched and I found nothing, <gasps> nothing. So how are these articles actually getting their numbers? Are they even legit or is it all feel good baloney? Let's dive into the nerdy stuff like the definitions and the equations. If you're not interested, that's totally okay. Feel free to skip past the nitty gritty and dive right into my four facts about motorcycle riding and the effect on calorie burning. If you've watched my other videos, you know that I love my definitions. So let's start there. What is a calorie? It is a unit of energy equivalent to the heat energy needed to raise the temperature of water by one degree Celsius, or now more commonly 4.1868 joules. Calorie and kilocalorie is often used interchangeably. If you do absolutely nothing all day, AKA you're, you're just sedentary all day, you're still burning calories. This is called the basal energy expenditure, or BEE. Some may call it the BMR. Depends on where you're looking. But essentially the same thing. Everyone's BEE is different, as it's dependent on your weight, your height, age, and sex. I've linked two free BEE calculators in the descriptions below if you want to calculate your own. For reference, the BEE of a 70 kilogram male that's you know 5 foot 10 inches or 70 inches tall and 30 years old is 1,715 calories per day or 71.5 calories per hour. You can estimate the number of calories burned in an activity by using the formula total calories burned in one minute is equal to 3.5 times MET or MET times your weight in kilograms all of that divided by 200. MET is metabolic equivalent, is the measuring unit of human body heat or power production. For example, the MET or MET for someone seated in a relaxed position is equal to one. It is based on how much oxygen your, your cells use to create the energy needed to move your muscles. A MET of one is equal to 3.5 milliliters of oxygen consumed per kilogram of body weight per minute. Each different type of activity, whether it's sitting, standing, washing dishes, gardening, walking, running, driving a car, etc., etc., has its own MET. Researchers have been able to monitor oxygen consumption in muscles of people performing various activities thus assigning MET values to them. That being said, not all activities that you can think of have been measured, so we have to estimate in these cases. This study has a big old table compiled with METs from various activities based on a 70 kilogram individual, which we will dive into towards the end of the video where we try to estimate the calories that are burned. When it comes to burning calories, Motorcycle riding may not be your go-to activity. However, it does offer some physical benefits that can contribute to weight management. Let's break it down with some facts. Fact
Fact number one, physical demands of riding a motorcycle. Riding a motorcycle requires physical exertion, especially during longer rides or challenging terrains. Although it may not be as intense as activities like cycling or jogging, motorcycle riding does engage certain muscles and can contribute to calorie burning. Fact number two, core engagement and muscle activation. Maintaining balance and control of a motorcycle engages your core muscles, helping you tone your abdominal muscles over time. Additionally, the act of steering, accelerating, and braking activates various muscle groups such as the arms, shoulders, and your legs. Fact number three, riding duration and intensity. The duration and intensity of your rides play a significant role in calorie burning. Longer rides at a consistent pace, particularly on hilly or challenging routes, can contribute to higher energy expenditure. However, shorter rides or urban commuting with frequent stops may not lead to significant calorie burning. Fact number four, additional factors. Keep in mind that factors like your body weight, riding gear, and weather conditions can impact calorie burning. Heavier individuals tend to burn more calories during physical activities, and wearing heavy protective gear can slightly increase energy expenditure. Riding in hot weather or against wind resistance can also make your body work harder and result in a slightly higher calorie burn. So let's run some numbers and see if we can estimate calories burned during one hour of motorcycle riding, one hour straight. First, we need to find the right MET value to use. According to this paper, motorcycling has a MET of 2.2. For reference, their MET for driving a car is 2. I'd say a MET of 2.2 is very conservative and likely does not take into account higher intensity forms of riding like mountain, canyon riding, track riding, dirt bike riding, etc, etc. I say this because a MET for walking at a pace of 5 kilometers per hour is 3.2 and then at a pace of 7 kilometers per hour is 5.3. If you have done some spirited riding on a road with a bunch of curves, you know how tired you can feel. This pales in comparison to exhaustion from a track session that is 10 to 20 minutes and has your heart pumping. Luckily, motorcycling is an activity that has been studied at various intensity levels. Light intensity has a MET of 2.5, moderate intensity has a MET of 4, and then heavy intensity has a MET of 7. So we'll use a MET of 2.2 as our base, and then 7 as our upper end. Using the formula on the screen, total calories burned in one minute is equal to 3.5 times MET times weight in kilograms, all divided by 200. We'll use the 70 kilogram individual as our you know, baseline as well. So for a MET of 2.2, we have 2.696 calories burned per minute. So in one hour or 60 minutes, you burn 161.7 calories per hour. Compared to the basal energy expenditure or BEE, which is the calories burned by doing absolutely nothing of 1,715 calories per day, that's equivalent to 71.5 calories per hour calculated at the beginning of the video. You would burn an additional 90.2 calories per hour using a MET of 2.2 in this case. How about a MET of 7? So with the formula on the screen, you would burn 8.575 calories per minute and in one hour that's about 514.5 calories compared to the BEE you burn an extra 443 calories per hour now just for fun for curiosity jogging at a pace of nine kilometers per hour has a net of 8.8 .8, which would mean 647 calories burned per hour riding your motorcycle if the intensity was as high. To sum it up, it looks like you can expect to burn anywhere from around as low as 160 calories up to about 500 calories in one hour depending on the riding intensity. With the upper met that they had calculated of 7, I'm not sure exactly what was taken into account as to 
what really defines the light, moderate, and heavy intensity for the testers. So definitely have to keep that in mind. While motorcycle riding may not be classified as a high intensity calorie burning activity, it still offers physical benefits. The calorie burn depends on factors like duration, intensity, and type of riding. It's important to remember that maintaining overall fitness and weight management requires a combination of regular exercise, a balanced diet, and a healthy lifestyle. Continue lifting weights, but you can likely skip the post-workout cardio and go for a spirited motorcycle ride instead. And that brings us to the end of the video. Hopefully you found it interesting and learned something new. As always, thumbs if you enjoyed it, vaporize that sub button if you loved it, and I'll catch you legends in the next one. Peace.